Hey buddy, how are you? Hey, listen, I need a favor. Mm, sure, what's up? Uh, I'm actually in the neighborhood and uh, I need to upload a couple of videos on YouTube. Only a few gigabytes. I was wondering if I can stop by your place and use your Wi-Fi. Sure, uh, Mikasa es tu casa. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Mikasa es tu casa, but my Wi-Fi ain't your Wi-Fi, and that's why I'm gonna create a guest network. So the guest network is basically a separate wireless network that provides internet connection for my guests, but restricts their access to my local network. And that's exactly what I want right now, because I don't want my guests to be able to access my local network resources. He needs internet connection, and I'm gonna give him internet connection. As you can see with my ASUS AC68U wireless router, I can create up to 6 guest networks, 3 2.4 GHz and 3 5 GHz networks. I however need only one guest network for now. And I'm gonna create a 5 GHz guest network this time because 5 GHz is kinda faster than 2.4 GHz and this way my guest gets to leave my house faster. I mean uh, upload his videos faster. I can hide the guest network if I want, but I personally don't see any reason why I should do that, so I leave it to be visible, but I make sure it has a very secure password. The network name or SSID is by default ASUS 5G Guest 1, and if I want I can change it. For the authentication and security, I'm gonna select WPA2 Personal with AES encryption, and I will give it a secure password. Now with the access time, basically I can decide whether I want this network to be always available or only for a limited time. For example, in my case, I'm gonna set it to 2 hours, which basically means this network is gonna be accessible for 2 hours from now. And hopefully by that time, my guest is done uploading his videos on YouTube. I mean, from his point of view, of course. I can also use the bandwidth limiter to limit the download or upload speed to whatever I want. But since my guest is actually uploading videos on YouTube, if I limit the bandwidth, then it's gonna take him longer to upload the videos, which is bad uh, from his point of view. Access intranet is basically where I can decide whether my dear guest can access my local network or cannot access my local network, which is a very easy decision for me to make. I would enable the MAC filter only if I want to allow certain MAC addresses to connect. For example, if I select accept, only the MAC addresses that I have added here are able to connect. Or if I select reject, everybody can connect except the ones that I have added here. But this is not something that I want to use for now. Now I can click apply and the guest network should start broadcasting after a couple of minutes and be accessible for two hours. Okay, that was it. Uh, obviously there was no guest, it was all me acting, um, just making an excuse to talk about this feature for a little bit. Uh, but in real life I just love having guests over, it's, it's really, it's really good. Configuring the guest networks on different devices, different wireless routers, and different manufacturers might be a little bit different, but the concept is basically the same. Uh, you just want to set up a network for the guests and visitors to make sure they can enjoy the internet without messing with your local network. The network devices that are designed for businesses usually have a feature called Captive Portal, which basically is a web page that is shown to newly connected Wi Fi users before they can have access to the internet. Like the one that you see, for example, when you connect to an airport Wi-Fi. It is usually a welcome page, uh, maybe showing their policy uh, or terms and conditions of using their public Wi-Fi. It can also be used for authentication, making payments if their service is not free and things like that. But the Asus wireless router that I used in this video is actually a home networking device. Thus, doesn't have that feature. But what it already has is pretty much enough to set up a home guest network. Alright, thank you very much for watching and I hope you like this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, feel free to share this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.